Hey, welcome to the ground instruction for exercise seven from the flight training manual, which is all about climbing. So quite simply, climbing is the process of gaining altitude, and there are many reasons you might want to do that in an airplane. And just as simply, we could describe climbing as an example of attitude plus power equals performance, like we talked about earlier. So in effect, um, raise the nose, add power, and you get a climb. But it's a bit more technical than that. And if you'd like to get specific performance out of your aircraft, then we're going to have to dive in here a little bit for a deeper look. So the flight training manual really focuses on a lot of other things that have to do with climbing, such as airspeed, air density, etc. And that stuff is important. However, right now for this lesson, we just want to learn about how to enter and recover from a climb. We use the mnemonic APT for this process, and it represents the steps we take to enter and recover from a climb. It stands for attitude, airspeed, power, trim. So to enter a normal climb, you start with attitude. So you establish yourself into a nose up attitude. Not too nose up, but you probably won't be able to see the ground anymore from this attitude. Naturally, in this transition to a nose up attitude, without an increase in power, your airspeed is going to start to decrease. So let's assume that your airspeed started at 95 knots and it decreases to 80 knots. Go ahead and add full power. Last, trim to relieve pressure. So at this point, you should find yourself in a climb. It'll be a full power climb at approximately 80 knots. The goal here is to have a constant heading, specific climb airspeed, a steady increase in altitude, and a steady climb rate on the VSI. And you recover from a climb using the same mnemonic, AAPT. Okay, so you start with attitude, but when I recover from a climb, you pitch forward on the controls to go from your nose up attitude back to the cruise attitude. Naturally, since we are still at full power, your airspeed is going to increase at this time. And that's good. Let it increase from 80 knots back up to 95 knots, assuming that 95 knots is our target cruising airspeed. Once airspeed reaches 95 knots, you can reduce power to cruise power setting, usually around 2300 RPM for your training aircraft. And last, trim to relieve back pressure or forward pressure. Okay, so that seems super technical. And why are we going through all this technical stuff when we could just raise the nose and add power and the aircraft will climb? And the simple answer to that is energy management. If you add power before going into a climb, then you're increasing your airspeed before you go into a climb. Okay, if you add power once you've transitioned into the climb attitude, then it provides a smoother transition than adding power first. And that's why you lead with attitude when going into and recovering from a climb. When we're recovering from a climb, you want to make sure that your aircraft is back up to cruise airspeed before you reduce power to ensure a safe transition from climb to cruise. Okay, so let's talk about airspeed. So in the example I gave before, I targeted 80 knots as the desired climb airspeed, but attitude plus power equals performance. So let's look at how performance will change when we change the aircraft attitude. So if I put the aircraft into an 80 knot climb at full power and then lower the nose, my airspeed is going to increase, but I would still be climbing. Conversely, if I put the aircraft into an 80 knot climb at full power and then raise the nose further, I would still be climbing, but at a slower airspeed. Power has not changed, just your attitude. Your aircraft POH will specify different airspeeds for your aircraft, notably the best angle of climb and best rate of climb. Make sure that you memorize those airspeeds. For example, let's take a Cessna 152. Best angle of climb is 55 knots. So what that means is that with full power, the attitude that will give you 55 knots on the airspeed indicator is your best angle of climb speed. Climbing at full power and 55 knots will get you the most altitude per unit of distance. You're just going to be flying really slowly. Now, the best rate of climb speed for a Cessna 152 is 67 knots. So with full power, the attitude that will give you 67 knots will get you the most altitude per unit of time. You're going to cover more ground while you get up there, but you're going to reach altitude faster than if you're flying at VX, which is your best angle of climb. In climbs at low airspeeds, you'll probably also notice a lot of yaw. So get ready to use your right rudder uh, to counteract the yaw. 
and remember that the goal is to maintain a constant heading and not to let the aircraft wander all over the place. One thing that you're going to notice at high power settings and low air speeds is you're going to notice a lot of yaw because the effect of yaw caused by slipstream will be more pronounced. So counteract this in your climbs by adding right rudder and you just want to add enough right rudder to keep straight visually and maintain heading. All right, let's take a look at some safety considerations. No matter what you do, you're always going to need to see and avoid other aircraft. So get into the habit of looking up before you go into a climb to see if there's any traffic above you. And you can also lower the nose during a climb to see if there's any traffic ahead of you or coming towards you. I really can't stress enough that traffic avoidance is your responsibility and not anyone else's. Um, and as always, just follow the POH when it comes to selecting the specific climb speeds. So congratulations, you made it through another lesson. So I highly recommend that you do some chair flying to help you remember the process for entering and recovering from a climb. Believe me, it really helps and it's a lot cheaper than trying to do it in the plane. Take a read through some of these review questions and if you have any other questions, just make sure that you bring them for your next flight. Bye for now.